Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another shop talk video. And today's topic is going to be the car market in 2023 and should you buy a car or not? Now before we go ahead and get into this topic guys, uh, hit the subscribe button down below if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about today's topic. So a lot of you may be wondering, hey Mike, why are you making a video about the car market? Now, a lot of people don't know this, guys, because I primarily make repair videos, but repairing cars is half of my business. The other half is a dealership. Um, I basically run a dealership and a service center out of one location. Now, uh, I'm very active at auctions, and I've been uh, in this uh, field for a while. I mean, I've been a dealer for about, I want to say, uh, what, five or six years now. So I've seen it uh, pretty good when I started off versus how bad it's gotten now. Um, it's gotten to the point where you had a plethora of cars that you can choose uh, at a, you know, a good price that you can make some money on versus now people are overbidding and overpaying for cars at wholesale auctions. Uh, just to give you guys an example of this, um, I was at a uh, auction that was online today and uh, you know, I saw a 2010 Hyundai Elantra that had a uh, uh, auction value or I guess you can say a wholesale value of $1,000 and it sold for $2,700. And it had around 125,000 miles on it. It's just crazy. Um, that car realistically should have been sold for around 1,200 bucks or even 900 bucks, somewhere around that in my head, uh, to be even be able to wholesale it correctly. But the car market right now, guys, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a big dealer or small dealer. They are so far up on their high horse from the past two years of being able to price gouge people uh, that they've basically destroyed the whole market. Um, even for me right now, it's getting real difficult to be able to get a good, decent priced car uh, you know, to be able to sell on my lot. Now, I don't finance or work with banks, so I do cash cars, guys. So I'm buying cars that I could sell for $5,000 or under. That's already a very limited market and a very hard market to be in, you know, let's say that type of a sales position because there's not a lot of good cars for that amount of money. And I try to buy good solid units that can get people by for a few years. And uh, right now with everything going on, and, you know, the market and the interest rates and everything, um, even though the car market should be crashing, I find that there's a lot of dealers out there that are still not quite understanding that the market is down and the market is not going to be selling that great like it used to. And uh, they're just hurting it more. Um, just like what I mentioned, that Hyundai selling today for an absurd amount of money, I mean, that would be a retail value on it. Uh, I don't know how they could buy that car for 2500 bucks, possibly fix whatever could be going on with it, and then, you know, be able to mark it up on their lot and make any money on it. It's just, you know, like, how much are you going to pay for a 2010 Hyundai with 125,000 miles on there? I mean, you can't pay that much for it. It's like a, you know, $3,000 car tops. So, um, what's going on right now is that Car dealers haven't quite figured out that uh, we're in a bad situation here. Um, they lent out a lot of loans to you know these high-priced uh, cars, guys. And what I mean by this is uh, a couple years ago, if you went to the dealer, let's say a car you wanted was 60 grand MSRP, they were selling these things for like 80 grand MSRP plus market adjustment and whatever add-ons and everything. I mean, they were selling cars for high prices. Banks had no issues uh, giving money out because the way the market was, it was a selling market. So they're like, oh yeah, this is easy money. Don't worry, like we'll make money. Well, fast forward now, um, you know, the economy's not doing great. Uh, the rates are up for interest. These uh, owners that bought these cars for these excessive prices are upside down in their loans. A lot of them are defaulting and getting their cars repoed, which is a sad scenario, but it happens. And right now, no one uh, is really out there spending big money on cars. Uh, dealerships are still trying to go over MSRP. Some of them have come to the realization they're trying to work with customers, but again, nowhere near to where we were, you know, let's say uh, pre-pandemic. Uh, they still feel the ball is in their court. Uh, they haven't quite figured out yet that, hey, you know what? We need to start doing something because the way a dealership works, guys, if they're not selling cars, uh, the immediate reaction is, let's slash the price. Um, and then if that doesn't work, well, let's slash the price some more. And that's kind of what they do. I've worked at uh, big dealerships and I was just a mechanic and I've had a lot of salesman friends. And, you know, that's their typical, you know, uh, routine about if you can't sell it, just keep lowering the price until, you know, we can sell it. Or if it gets to a certain point, then we just dump it at auction. 
And that's what's happening a lot now. Um, at auctions, I'm looking and seeing brand new inventory that has, you know, like a couple miles on it being sold. Um, you know, I'm seeing cars that are basically garbage that are, you know, should be in the scrap pile being sold. I mean, take your pick. And the thing is, guys, nothing is moving. Um, at today's auction, uh, they had around 300 cars that, uh, you know, were going on the auction block. And I kid you not, guys, every car that was being bid on it apparently wasn't meeting the quota for these dealerships that were selling them. Um, you know, everything was a if bid or no sale. And what an if bid is, is basically that they're going to have to call whoever's selling the car and ask them if that price that has been bid on it is going to qualify. And, uh, you know, I'll know later on tonight if those cars actually sold. But if it's anything like uh, yesterday's auction, guys, um, there was no sales. I mean, uh, yesterday's auction had about 485 cars and about 200 of those sold and 300 and, you know, 85 whatever the number is were uh, you know going back to the auction to be resold so it's just incredible that uh, you know on, on a good day back in 2019 um, if you have 500 cars at an auction you'd be left with like 10 that couldn't sell and now you got 300 cars at an auction you can only sell 100 of them and the 100 that are probably sold are still overpriced so uh, it's just a really tough time guys uh, my whole uh, two cents on this is going to be this um, if you guys are looking to buy a car in 2023, only buy it if you absolutely must. But if you have an older car that's still running, needs a little bit of work, I would say it's a better idea to just keep your older car running until you know the situation kind of gets itself figured out because right now it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, and I really don't even know where it's headed. I'm just kind of, you know, every day paying attention and seeing on uh, where it's going to go. But I have a feeling it's going to crash. Uh, pretty badly and you know at that point we don't know what's going to happen but for right now uh, for 2023 just to help you guys out i would say unless you absolutely have to uh, you know don't buy a car uh, just keep the car running and if you do have to buy a car guys do not let the dealerships get you on over msrp and market adjustments the ball is in your court you should be able to leverage your price uh, Unfortunately, interest rates are going to be high, so that's something that you can't really control. But I really do feel it's going to be a cash buyer's market when it comes to this. Now, uh, there's a lot of other channels out there that cover this topic more immensely, guys. I'm just kind of brushing on it. Uh, but there is a uh, really good YouTuber out there that I'm going to link down below that uh, covers this topic more in depth. Uh, you know, they make some awesome videos when it comes down to auctions and everything so i'm gonna go ahead and link that channel down below and give them a shout out here uh you should definitely check out their videos but this is just my two cents on this topic guys so you guys uh you know are aware at least my general audience is because here on youtube i know it's hard to find you know other channels that talk about certain topics so you gotta kind of cross uh into uh different uh areas here so with that said guys hopefully this video helps you guys out uh, please comment, like, and subscribe because it will definitely help the channel grow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.